Hi, here's a quick video from Shades of Coffee showing you how to test a thermal fuse on top of a, a Gaggio boiler. So we're going to use a standard electrical multimeter. Most multimeters can be used. Um, and just to help those that aren't fully aware, I'm just going to show you how to set up a, a multimeter, multimeter bleh, to test the, the fuse in the first place. So what we want to do is we've got uh, a couple of test leads. Um, here's the meter. We want to make sure that we plug one of the leads into the socket that's normally marked COM or common or something like that. Um, and then usually we put the other one into this socket here that's got a, a V and a, an ohm and a various other symbols on it. So that one there, if you've got multiple sockets, look for ones that are marked like those two on there. Now with this multimeter, we have to turn this one on. To turn it on, we rotate this dial here. And once we've turned it on, we can turn it to a number of different settings. Now, in order to test the thermal fuse, what we're looking for is typically this symbol here in blue and, and this symbol here. Uh, the symbol at the bottom here indicates that it's for diode testing, which is essentially continuity testing. And the symbol at the top is uh, sort of a, a sound or a number of lines getting larger. And that indicates that the meter will actually beep once we, we have continuity between the two probes. So that's the setting that we're looking for. Normally it's this one with these um, with these lines getting larger, which looks a bit like a, it looks a bit like a speaker. So we'll turn the, the dial until we get to this setting and you can look for exactly the same uh, symbol on your meter. So turn it until you get to the setting that's got this sort of speaker indication on it. Now, what you can do is you can touch the two probes together and you'll see on the display here that when you touch the probes together, you get a reading. And when you haven't got the probes touched together, it says OL or, or overload. So we can see here whether we've actually got continuity or not. And it's actually telling us essentially the resistance between the two probes. But we can see whether we have continuity. But I said before that normally this little symbol here indicates um, a sound. On this meter, what we have to do is press the blue button. When we press the blue button, we get this sort of sound indicator at the top on the display. And that means now that when I actually push the two probes together, when they have electrical continuity, when there's an electrical path between the two, the display changes and we see that, but we can also hear it as well. And being able to hear the beep makes a, a big difference when we're testing things and we've only got two hands and it just makes life a little bit easier. So we can test for continuity across the thermal fuse just with the meter in, in this position here. And what we're listening for is that beep once we actually get the, the contacts in the right place. So if you're not aware, and I've got here a, uh, a Gaggio boiler that's actually out of the machine just to make life a little bit easier so that you can see what's going on. The thermal fuse is, is on the top here. So it's encased within uh, a piece of silicon tubing and the wires at either end are crimped on with uh, uninsulated um, crimp connectors. So there's no solder or anything that could melt on here. The, the wires are crimped onto the wires that are inside here, which lead up to the thermal fuse. The thermal fuse is in the center here, clamped under this, under this metal clamp, which is attached by this, this small screw here. So at some point, if you do decide that you need to change the thermal fuse, you can literally just undo this screw. The entire thermal fuse assembly will come out and you have to remove the thermal fuse normally by, by cutting off these connectors at the end, putting a new thermal fuse in, crimping the wires back onto these um, legs on the thermal fuse and putting it back inside the, inside the tube, finally clamping it back underneath here. But to start with, what we're going to do is we're going to work out um, how to test the, the the thermal fuse for continuity. So there's a couple of ways we can do this. You can, if you're feeling particularly brave, you can just push the sharp end of the of the probe straight through the uh, straight through the plastic the silicon tubing here. So I've just pushed that one straight through the silicon tubing. And if I do the same thing with this one on this side, I'm pushing it straight through the silicon tubing. I can hear there because I'm touching the the metal wire inside with both. Of the of the of the term of the terminal probes 
So the black one is touching the wire on one side of the thermal fuse and the red one's touching the wire on the other side of the thermal fuse. So that shows me I've got continuity. That means the thermal fuse is perfectly okay. If you don't really want to push your probes through the plastic tubing and whilst you can do that, it's not something we really recommend. The best way that we find of doing this is taking the, the end of the of the of the uh, silicon tube and pushing your contact your probe up the end of the tube it's a little trickier to do the one on the front because you normally you have the switches in the way but uh, you can push this one up here and if you push it up the end of the tube until we contact with the the crimp connector on the end then we see exactly the same thing so there that's an indication of a good thermal fuse we've got continuity everything is okay there's no problem at all in doing this one the easy way or the hard way by pushing it up the end of the tubing and with this one we can just if we want to go straight through the the silicon tube so you can see there that we've got good continuity we've got a good thermal fuse that's perfectly okay if the thermal fuse had blown if we didn't have a good thermal fuse here then essentially what would happen is when we push this up the tube here nothing at all would happen it would sit there essentially like that and I've just pushed the tube pushed it outside of the tube just to show so it would do nothing you'd get no beep the meter wouldn't change nothing at all would happen um, if you pushed it through the tubing at either side again nothing at all would happen it's always good when you're testing just to make sure that the meter is still working and everything is still good by just touching the two probes together but providing you touch the two probes together and it still beeps and the meter still changes if you push the the the, the probe at the end of the tube and you contact with the um with the metal inside the tube on either side of the thermal fuse and it doesn't make a noise then you have no continuity the thermal fuse is blown and you'll need to replace it there you go there's a very quick example of how to check the thermal fuse on a gadget aluminium boiler